Okie dokie, so now I have some more time to keep painting. Um, so now I'm going to work on the neck, I think. Probably should I? No, we'll continue doing the face, I think. Probably should have planned this before I pressed the play button. Um, so, basically, we want to highlight some stuff. So I'm going to get like a dark orange, leave it how it was before with my opacity and size. And I'm going to just highlight like the tops with bone is like, I mean I don't think there's an actual bone here for this one, I think it's actually higher than where the lines have marked it. But this just highlights it sort of nicely, you know? Gives it a bit of a body almost I guess. I'm not really sure how to describe it. Um, what I always do is I always zoom in and out. Oh my god, if zoom would work, that would be, oops, that would be absolutely fantastic. Thank you. See, it just sort of adds like a little curve, but there, like, it just makes it look a little more standout-ish. Which isn't even a word. I'm an English major and I don't even know how to use words. Fantastic. Alright. So I'm just going to add a little bit more around here like this. You don't want to add too much. It just needs to give the face a bit of character. You don't really want it to be too bright, you know? Screw you. Oh, that's annoying. See, it just adds just like a little bit in there sort of thing. I mean, you can always add more later on. It's showing I have a paintbrush when I don't. Um, and you just want it sort of to go over the top of where things like veins and stuff are. There's a vein that goes through here and stuff. And just down here to where the face sort of pouches out a little bit, just on there, you know. Just add a little, 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 little extra bit to it. I'm going to start putting a bit more up there too. We'll go over there in a second too. Um, I think that's enough for now. I can always go over it and fix it and finish things later on. I mean, that's the benefit of using layers. Yeah, it worked that time. You can just sort of see through there, you know. It's probably not actually anatomically correct, <laughs> but it gives the face character at the moment and that's all I'm really going for right now. Um, I want to add something above the points but below the eye. So if this stupid thing will work. Um, with an eye highlight. So I'm going to go to the points and I'm going to color select that color and then just make it lighter. But sort of go down this way. Where it's still brown but it's lighter and you're going to have a low opacity and you're just going to go along like this and highlight but it's, it probably look completely stupid when I zoom out but then you just redo it no oh, that doesn't look too bad you can do the same thing with the um, muzzle I've never been very good at doing muzzles so it's be interesting to see how that comes out and you kind of want to go around this bit of the nose will always, almost always be highlighted because it sticks out when the nostril flares and the top part of the lip is probably going to be highlighted as well not always, just wherever your light source is coming from I guess I almost always do it like this and just like a tiny little bit down here a little bit up there and then we can fill in the nose later yeah, it's just starting to add a bit of body, and we, then we can add shadows and stuff like that, and do a good time with it. But, um, so that's the face for now. I don't really feel like working on the face so much anymore. I'm going to start working through here in the neck, because the neck is my favourite part. <laughs> I'm going to put a new shadow layer in up above the point, I think. Mm. And then I'm going to colour pick my other shadow colour. Go back to shadow body, get the paintbrush. I usually use the same size any time I'm doing shadow. But I'm going to bring the opacity up a little. Um, now through here is generally a little darker. Not always. So again, use your references if you don't know. Um, this mouse is not working. You don't want to do it all completely dark through here. You kind of want to do it just behind the the gel so that it pops out a bit more with your highlighting. But you don't want to do all of this dark because otherwise it just 
takes all the fun out of it. <laughs> um, there's a muscle that runs down here. Oops. And then there's going to be more down, down there. So you're just going to follow the lines. That's why the lines are made. So that you know where to paint. They're not just made for you to colour in like a colouring book. <laughs> um, generally the line art artists will put these lines in and they will help you know where to put the shadows and stuff. As you can see it's starting to look better already. I'm just going to put some random one. Like we can always make this darker but for now I'm just going to put them just randomly. Just going down here like this. That's the benefit of having it on low opacity. It's not going to make a huge difference to the overall result. As you can see, just going a little bit more like this. That's probably a little too dark right now. Oops, no, you don't want to look at my. Oops. <laughs> you don't really want to look at my Tumblr. Um, and I'm just going to add a little bit down here too. Like this. Just so it starts giving it a bit of body through here. This isn't going to be the finished result, obviously. So yeah, that's the next. Um, I've still got about three and a half minutes, so I may as well do a bit more. Um, then we'll get a little bit of highlight stuff going on. Name your um, name your layers, things that you're going to remember. Because if you're like me, generally you're going to lose your layers. <laughs> um, right now I'm going to make that a little bigger. And I'm just going to just go on here like this. Because for me the light's going to be hitting about there for some reason. I'm going to smudge it out. That's the benefit of having different layers. And don't worry about going over the edges. Because we can always go and erase those when we're finished anyway. I love the opacity a bit though. Just to build that. I love working on low opacity. It builds so much nicer that way. I don't like having to choose colours every five seconds. You can see it's starting to actually get a nice look to it. Um, I've never been very good at the tops of the necks. I've always been very good at shadows. But actually working on the neck is going to be interesting. I'm just behind the ears a little bit where they poke out. I'm going to smudge all that, it doesn't really matter. Plus it adds like a nice texture to it as you can see. Big fan of texture. Big fan of texture. Right, so, well that's working on the neck so far. Um, because I'm watching Mulan and I kind of want to keep watching it. <laughs> but yeah, I'll, I'll add more later on and um, I'll keep working and finish this thing off I guess.